welcome back to Jazz's Angel Number 10! I'm super excited for today's video because today we are doing another weekly collective energy spread. I'm super excited to see what this week has in store for us, especially with the new year literally being smack dab in the middle of the week. That's kind of a tongue twister. Um, yeah, so I'm super excited to get into it. Before we get started, DM my Instagram in the description below if you'd like a private reading. Also, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment below what video you want to see next. Also, I am doing a spread for love for every sign, so definitely check that out. Uh, they will all be up Monday and Tuesday. This will be for every sign is getting a spread specifically so we can really hone it in to see what January has in love for, uh, in store for us in terms of love. So yeah, guys, let's just get into it. I'm super excited. Let's start with some tarot. And just to see what we're really going to be dealing with this week, let's just get it right off with, oop, okay, okay, should I take that? Should I take that? Hmm, let's see what they're serving. I mean, these three cards literally just popped out, and I usually choose three. Wow, okay, yeah, we're definitely going to go with these because they really wanted to pop out. All right, so we got the Devil card, the World card, and the Seven of Cups, guys. The Devil, the World, the Seven of Cups. I didn't really have to show you these cards. I really just wanted to show my nails. Hey, how are you? New nails. Who does, honey? <laughs> So anyways, let's get right into it. I love this energy. Let me just say that I don't okay Let's okay. There's there's give there's take so let's get into this devil in reverse with this devil card being in reverse Honestly, I'm thinking that we're not falling for the same old tricks anymore So this week honestly, I feel like the ascension process has been essentially completed and we're moving on from it so what I mean by that is 2019 honestly for so many people has been about learning growing ascending becoming the new version of yourself basically shedding your old skin right and I feel with this devil card that we have officially done that with this card being in reverse it's like we're not falling prey to temptation we're not you know looking at the bright shiny orb and you know just falling for it you know we're 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 kind of really coming into ourselves and I feel like we have really a lot of us recently have really made a decision and that decision has been you know what I'm not dealing with the same mold anymore I'm officially grown and I've learned from my mistakes I've learned from bad decisions that I've made in the past and I feel like a lot of us are truly ready to move on from that and then we have the world card in reverse so the gag is I feel like some people are still resisting for the most of us we've completely you know phased out of this old version of ourselves and we feel new but for some of us we have this doubt still where it's like you know what I'm not gonna have everything I want because I'm not compromising anymore because I'm not taking whatever someone will give me so now I know that I cannot have the things that I've always wanted I see a lot of people operating out of a mindset of an older version of themselves what I I mean by that is you know when you fully ascend when you fully come into yourself and you decide who you are what you will and will not deal with whatever it is that you've really been dealing with 2019 when you ascend and you've completely grown and completed karmic cycles learned your lessons you should have a totally different mind state but I feel like some of you may have been triggered by um, someone from the past because with the eclipse energy especially with the end of this decade it's it's a lot of intense energy a lot of people from the past are showing up a lot of you know old energy old vices old things we used to be interested in are coming back and it's really like <laughs> The gag about this world card is a lot of times the universe will do this thing where it's like when you're, you know, at this world moment, at this 21 moment, it's like the the universe will show you everything you've kind of dealt with so it may have someone from the past recome into your life or it may you know have something happen that makes you think of something from the past basically to test okay have you really ascended are you really done with this part in your life and I'm seeing that that moment that the universe likes to really throw in there that curveball is really tripping up a lot of people um, and I see that it's it's like people are feeling 
you know a way that they would feel in the past because of something because of past energy kind of resurfacing so that's very interesting a lot of people aren't falling for it but some of us are and then there's some of us who are just in the middle lost in the sauce like I don't know about any of this I don't know about ascension blah 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 I'm just trying to you know get to the bag or I'm just trying to get you know um, a man's a woman's I'm just trying to get XYZ well the thing is you have to make a solid plan in order for that to happen and I'm seeing that there's a lot of things that a lot of people want but there's not like a solid focus I wish I could see like I think it's an eight of coins moment um, I almost feel like finding that card um, I wish I could see an eight of coins moment where it's literally like we're working on one solid thing and you know we have all of our focus on that one thing and it's not like we're getting lost in the sauce focusing on all of these other things let me just see if I can find it quick if I can't it's whatever um, I mean, it's gotta be in here somewhere. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I just want you guys to really see this card because I feel like you'll get what I'm saying. Here we go. Yeah, Eight of Coins. So look at this card, guys. <clears throat> Sister Focus. Okay, come through. Focus, come through. No? Okay. There we go. All right. So you see how he's working on this one specific thing? So this is the Seven of Cups. So different suit in the tarot deck, but still same storyline, right? The next step from having all these options for knowing what you want from having multiple desires, the next step is to focus on one thing at a time. So this is kind of the energy that I... Oop, I'm back. <laughs> this is kind of the energy that I wish that I could see um, instead of the Seven of Cups, which is fine because we're all on our different journeys, right? Um, and we all have, you know, different, you know, things that we have to go through first. But I just feel like it's kind of late to be in this position. So if anything, for some of you, if you feel kind of lost in the sauce right now, if you have a bunch of things that you want but you haven't gone for anything, the time is now. The universe is about to snatch your wig if you don't decide what you want clearly and go for it. All right, let me just pull some more cards just because these popped up, but let me see after I meditate on what I'm trying to pull out here if we get anything else. So, gods, goddesses, guides, spirit and the divine, please bring forth messages the collective needs to hear this week. All right. Yeah, it's just like a lost in the sauce moment. We have the lover's card in reverse and we have the eight of, or I mean the eight of coins. Now I'm thinking about the eight of coins. And then we have the ace of coins in reverse. So honestly with these cards, I'm just feeling like there's so many things that we want, right? There's so many things that a lot of people are hoping and wishing for, but they're not really taking the action to get them or they haven't completed the karmic cycles that they needed to complete in order for the universe to basically release their next soulmate, etc. Think about it this way, if you have unfinished business with someone in the past, you haven't completed that karmic cycle, the universe isn't going to throw yet another person in there who is on the same kind of playing field as you, right, from a universal standpoint and say, well, they want a new person, let me give them this person, but that person ends up getting the short end of the stick because now they have to deal with a bunch of stuff that you should have already dealt with. You know what I mean? So I feel like this lover's moment is going to come through once we get this world card upright and we complete whatever you know karmic cycles that are still um needing to be completed this is the week of completion things are getting done either the universe is and i i got this last week too either the universe is going to come through snatch your wig divinely intervene or you're going to yourself the gag is you know when the universe comes through it is very rarely pretty the universe came through for me and snatched my wig a few times and it was not cute honey I ended up edgeless I need to stop saying that <laughs> because a lot of people are like snatch your wig away <laughs> um let me pull a couple more cards oh wow this is crazy like why are we getting like this reading is already like just eating me okay so we have memories of love partnerships and alliances 
and harmony guys in that order in that order this is exactly the way things are gonna go this is exactly the way things are gonna go and I'm so happy that this came out this way because it makes total sense first of all I wasn't even thinking about love I was literally pulling like okay what other messages does you know the universe have for this reading and all love came out so it's so funny that that came out right after the lovers card we have memories of love this is where some people are at this time some people are past this but this is where a lot of people are they're still thinking about you know someone from their past that is not meant for their future they're still you know uh, thinking about you know um, just the memory and you know a lot of people feel like especially star seeds um, a lot of people feel like you know with this memories of love it's like they 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 have a feeling they know what love is moon children as well a lot of you know intergalactic uh, beings have this feeling but it's like you know what love is you you felt it before in another dimension in another galaxy that you've lived on yet you don't feel like you can have that here but the hurt and the pain comes from the fact that you felt it before you know you felt it before you have this love in your heart you know what it feels like yet you haven't had the experience in this being in this timeline it's the craziest thing but a lot of people just hurt because they just don't feel like they'll ever get that ten of cups they don't feel like they'll ever get this lovers upright um, but they've felt it before and they they know what it feels like but they don't feel like they'll have that in this human experience so a lot of people are you know really struggling with the concept of love it's just coming up so much and then we have partnerships and alliances so this is kind of the next step okay we have the memories of love we know that love exists right we see other people in love so we, we have evidence that it's real right um, the next step is to move into this partnership and alliance kind of realm where it's like okay we're we're building solid foundations we've met you know our next soulmate or our next you know whoever in our life that's supposed to play a role romantically and then we have this harmony card which is like okay we've built the solid foundation and now we have this harmony in our lives and with this person so it's literally like a three-step process which is why i was saying Ugh, i wish we had like a good eight of coins moment where we started to work on things by things specifically really get you know rid of you know any just weight on our shoulders in terms of love any concepts that don't really read as love you know what I'm saying because I feel like for a lot of us, our past is really hindering us, especially if you've made promises to people, especially if you've made promises to yourself. Oh my goodness, I know how that can trip you up. I understand. I know how that can trip you up, but you can't let it hold you back because for a lot of you, the universe is about ready, if not already, to offer you just an overflowing cup of love, just this person that is really gonna turn you out, okay, change your life, but a lot of you just can't see it. You're ignoring it or you're repelling it because you either have unfinished business which you just need to resolve or you just simply don't want to move on and you can't be stubborn about this you got to keep growing you got to keep learning okay invitation happy and content this is another one of my romance decks and that one really wanted to come out um i wanted to pull from this one just to round out this love that we're talking about this is exactly what I'm saying. Invitation, okay? I believe this is the first card that came out. Either way, it came out, so whatever. But invitation. The universe has basically this offering that it is trying to give us, but a lot of us are stuck you know in in the past a lot of us have seen something in the past have been triggered by something in the past or someone coming back around and now they've kind of hijacked their brain moth to a flame and they're focused on that and they can't focus and see their future but the universe has this invitation this invitation of love this invitation of a new partnership this invitation of just something totally new and different and a full cup okay guys and it's like a lot of people are really repelling this and I really wish that we could get past this moment um, I'm seeing that you know for some of you you may get this invitation this week and I hope you guys don't pass it up being lost in the sauce of something that isn't even supposed to 
be engaged with Ugh, the energy is really frustrating um and then we have happy and content i see happiness and contentment for this week i feel like you guys are gonna feel happy i'm definitely sensing i keep hearing new year's kiss new year's kiss new year's kiss i just didn't want to say it because i know not everyone is going to get a new year's kiss a lot of people don't even care about a new year's kiss but some of you are getting one if you've really been wondering that like if you were thinking that at the same time that i said it that message is specifically for you okay but there's going to be a lot of happiness, a lot of contentment for a lot of people uh, this week. And I'm seeing that it's because of this invitation. And we have the In Heaven card. I'm so happy about this card. I love that this card came out because, you know, this In Heaven card is really showing me that it's like, for those of you who have fully gone through the Ascension process and you do feel fully ready, you're getting your Ten of Cups. You're getting your Lover's card. And it's coming in hot. Okay, I see the energy coming in rather quickly. I'm going to pull from this Moon deck. I just feel called to so let's just see what comes up i haven't pulled from this one in a while i don't think so let me just pull from this one i felt really called to yeah and this is something i personally been struggling with so i'm so glad that this came up um Oh, that's beautiful. This is gorgeous, guys. This is beautiful. First card we have, New Moon and Virgo, a time to give rather than take. This is something that I've been struggling with. A lot of times I overgive, but sometimes I don't. It's really like either I'm giving or I'm not giving anything at all. So I'm trying to find that balance. The universe is really urging us, though, to give at this time, to extend yourself, to open yourself up, to be vulnerable. That's a really important thing at this time, and I understand. Trust me I understand um, especially if you're dealing with someone who could actually hurt you like uh, a potential love interest or something you don't want to be open because you don't want to get hurt but the gag is closed mouths don't get fed and it's really now or never you might as well explore this before the new year or you know the first week so that you can focus the rest on your of your year on something else so this would be the time to you know really extend yourself you know be lighthearted you know uh, pursue your crush or to you know do whatever this means for you but it's definitely a time to give now what I'm really excited about personally is this new moon in Capricorn and the gibbous moon OMG I'm pretty sure the eclipse new moon was just in Capricorn just a couple days ago so we're literally right spot on here um, <coughs> and then the gibbous moon at the bottom of the new moon in Capricorn, it says your hard work is paying off. And then we have the you're very close to achieving your goal. So that is just so gorgeous. I love that energy. Your hard work is paying off. The things that you've been working on all 2019, you know, for a lot of you, I'm really not seeing that hiccup. I'm really not. But honestly, it's looking like it's looking like 30, 70 at this point. So that's still a significant amount of us who are getting really tripped up with that eclipse energy and then just like the past energy, the closing of the year, the opening of a new year. That's a significant amount of people who are affected, so you know but for a lot of us your hard work is paying off you're very close to achieving your goals so i feel like a lot of our manifestations are coming true this week whether we've been manifesting love whether we've been you know um trying to make something shake in our career in our money sector i see a lot of things changing for a lot of people and i'm seeing a lot of growth um monetarily okay talking about your coin and a lot of growth growth internally um and i'm seeing a lot of us really are closing these cycles like i'm i'm like 70% is a good amount. So let me pull from this card and then maybe I'll pull, um, you know, some advice or something. But I honestly, I really love this spread. I feel like it's really real, really blunt. Oop, okay. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'm loving that. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is just beautiful. I mean, are you serious? Okay, we have in the near future and then we have success. This is so gorgeous. This is literally exactly what I was just talking about. I was just talking about we're so close to achieving our goal. Hard work is paying off. And this is the proof. The proof is in the pudding. The proof is in these cards, okay? We've got it right here. In the near future, meaning in the next couple of weeks, whatever near is to you, what do you guys think of when you think of near, right? In the near future, definitely I'm sensing before springtime, a lot of us are going to be popping off successes. Also, I, I can't believe I forgot to mention this late in the reading, but anything you plant this week is gonna pop, period, in the next few months. <coughs> <coughs> 
excuse me so if you have anything that you've really been wanting to do start it this week start it this week it's going to pop it's going to pop springtime by springtime you're gonna have anything you pretty much want um now don't get crazy talking about i want a million dollars you know what i'm saying we can't all win the mega millions you know what i'm saying but anything practical even if it's a, you know a little fluffy got a little extra special sauce on it that's all right but anything that you pretty much want this week is happening for a lot of people. So this is the perfect week to plant seeds, um, to really start something that you've been wanting to start, something that you've been wanting to manifest. Oh, I love that that came out. Okay, I'm going to keep that because that's just an important message on Piriana. Um, Yeah, guys, this is a lot. For a lot of people, this is like kind of the hang up. Oh, beautiful. So we have Forgive. And change is always good. Forgive and change is always good. So honestly, there's actually some things this week that I've had to forgive people for. This has been a crazy, 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 crazy week for me um, personally. So I can't imagine it hasn't been for anyone else. I can't imagine I'm the only one who feels this energy. But, you know, it's been a really crazy week for me. And I, I've gotten ungrounded. And, you know, you definitely need to forgive, okay? This is definitely the time to forgive and move on move into your future move into you know the beautiful things that the universe is trying to give us because right now the universe is really ready to provide i mean seriously we have in the near future success let let go of anything that is just not serving you this is the time the time is now don't wait on it don't drag your feet guys seriously um and change is always good so i know it doesn't feel good in the moment for a lot of you you don't want to let go of um you know a past lover especially if you have a lot of history with them because it's like you spent so much time you spent so much time building getting through things there were good times there were really bad times regardless you probably love them that's okay you can love people from a distance and i actually advise them that you do because you know um especially if you've had like a tumultuous past with them you know you've got to forgive them but uh, eventually you got to walk into what the universe is actually trying to send you and the universe is trying to provide you with a whole new beginning that's just going to be so much greater and so much more beautiful than you could truly ever imagine and I just don't want to see anyone miss out on that especially not anyone I love and I love all of you and I would hate to see you guys get lost in the sauce of not forgiving someone from a past transgression and you know having that essentially hold you back so just know that change is always good okay yeah guys every specific sign will get a love spread for the month of January so make sure to check that out it'll be up Monday and Tuesday depending on when you're watching this you'll see it whenever um, please like this video okay subscribe to my channel DM my Instagram in the description below if you'd like a private reading you can literally ask whatever you want and um, yeah guys I guess I'll see you in the next one. Be careful what you wish for and I love you. Mwah!